When it comes to the original GoldenEye, I think most people would remember it fondly, but would also agree that it hasn't aged very well in comparison to other games of the era. It was incredibly ambitious for the time, but shooters have just been so much more refined since. Nevertheless, the game has a very dedicated community to this day, and now you can play it with a mouse and keyboard. This represents a very dramatic improvement over the original experience. Now you can actually aim at stuff with a great degree of precision. Also, 60 frames per second is kind of important for FPS games. And trying to get that on N64, well, good fucking luck. People have also gone as far as to make ROM hacks of GoldenEye. Now, I already talked about GoldenEye with Mario characters. That's as self-explanatory as it is fucking hilarious. But today, we're talking about something entirely new. Goldfinger 64. This is an all-new ROM hack of GoldenEye, complete with new levels, new missions to accompany them, and all following the scenario of Goldfinger as opposed to GoldenEye. Now, I have never actually seen Goldfinger, so I can't necessarily speak to the accuracy of this game to the film, but I imagine they knew what they were doing. I mean, they went as far as to make Bond look like Sean Connery more than Pierce Brosnan, so they got that out of the way. Which reminds me, ever notice how Activision's remake of GoldenEye, they just turned him into Daniel Craig even though he wasn't in GoldenEye at all? Good job, Activision. You done fuckoed up. Goldfinger64 is an absolute champion of ROM hacks. You can't even really call it a ROM hack, it's a fully fledged game. It's absolutely stunning how they managed to recreate the GoldenEye formula so perfectly in the scenario of Goldfinger. There are zero half ass aspects to this game. There are 20 whole levels like the original game, each one of them having additional objectives aside from just getting to the end of the level. The objectives change depending on the difficulty setting you're on. This feels official. Rareware them themselves could have made this. And it gets even better. They've added an assortment of new weapons, you got those fancy German guns, you can hit people with a golf club, you can get Odd Jobs hat as a weapon. It's incredible. Characters interact with you and tell you things and give you mission items. There are actual scripted events that I assume are made to recreate scenes from the movie. This hack is amazing. On a visual level, it stays very true to the GoldenEye aesthetic, for the most part. The game has a much brighter and more vibrant color palette than GoldenEye, which I feel is more in tune with the Sean Connery era Bond films. I mean, back then, Bond was a lot more silly than it is now. I mean, one of the main characters of Goldfinger is a woman named Pussy Galore. My name is Pussy Galore. I get that it's a Bond thing to have sexually suggestive femme fatale characters, but that's not even subtle. I bet one of the movies has a female sidekick called 0069 and her actual name is just Reverse Cowgirl. Or how about a gay dude who's just called Many Dicks? Anyway, the graphics are good, the weapon designs are neat, and the environments are massive. If any of you have an EverDrive 64, I would recommend you at least try this game on original hardware if for no other reason than to see how bad the frame rate gets. But the most impressive thing about this game is the music. Seriously, it's fantastic. Grant Kirkhope himself could have done this. The game even has new multiplayer maps, too. It's incredible how everything that made the original GoldenEye excellent has been preserved in this new scenario. These guys are naturals. Now, is there anything bad about the game? Well, as you all know, the original GoldenEye had highly intelligent AI. Of course, we all know that because it says so on the back of the box. Now, Goldfinger's AI is honestly really stupid. For the first half of the game, the enemies almost never hit me. I got hit maybe twice, and that was at, like, point blank. The later levels weren't this dumb, although one guy ran directly into a timed explosive that he must have seen me place. I've also seen several instances of guys not reacting when I was firing loud weapons all over the place like a madman. Sometimes there were guys just not caring at all about a firefight that was happening around them. It was pretty funny. 
There was also a bug I found in one of the levels where if you tried to open this safe, it would spawn two unarmed guards who just run into the room and stand there. If you spam it, you can spawn infinite guards and then the game will crash. It's pretty cool. Now I really want to see this on original hardware. Aside from the dumb AI, the game is surprisingly stable and reliable. The entire game is very well put together. Nothing is half-assed. This is a whole ass game. Yeah, that should be the name of the next Bond film. 007, whole ass. Definitely play this whole ass game. I can't recommend this enough. It is more than a worthy successor to the original GoldenEye. Go, play it. It's good.